What's up guys, how to produce a track that sounds like Animal, let's go! Okay guys, so we're starting with a full listen to the track, it sounds like that. Okay, so that's a really, really, really cool track, really cool remake. Um, I really love the original. And now I'm going to show you how I made this kick and the bass. It sounds exactly like that, check this out. And with the full groove. And yeah, let's see. So, um, I took the kick, I zipped it from the original track actually. How to zip a kick from a track with a full power drop, a track with the kick, bass, lids, pads, everything. And you can still zip the kick. How to do it? It's all explained in the secrets course. Took this kick. Little bit of compressor. Little bit and clean it up a bit. That's it. That's about the kick. Just divide it by two and together with the bass. Sounds like this. So how I made this bass, check this out. That's the final bass, the final result. And of course, all this preset that you just heard, the bass, the bass shots, the leads, the pads, the everything are just used here, all the stems and presets, all included in the stems and presets. Link is right here in the description, guys. Go grab your copy. So, that's the bass. And this is how it sounds like when it's really raw, no effect. About the same, how I made this bass. Check this out. This is just basic saw wave with a really, really plucky and attacky envelope. No sustain, really short decay. Also, envelope sent to the cutoff. Short decay, no sustain. Add that uh, on top of it. Plus one octave, a square wave with pulse fit modulation. LFO is it? Of course, the pulse fit with two unisons to make it stereo. But the first oscillator is has to be mono because it's my main bass. This uh, another oscillator, oscillator B is just uh, an extra on top of it, but it's not the uh, the main thing. It's not what is really important. And this is what really important, oscillator A. So this has to be mono. Um, sound drive with the filter. That's it, no FX, no matrix. Thanks everybody who showed you the LFO and the envelope to the cutoff, that's it. And on top of that, a bit of EQ, another EQ. This EQ gives more color. This just clean the unnecessary frequencies. Compressor, another EQ. And sidechain, a bit of uh, chorus, and a bit more EQ, and this is automated. Check this out. 
with the second boys, with the best shots. This automated. Sounds like this. It's really special, I really, really liked it. I wanted to create a movement. Um, they didn't do it in the original track, but here I wanted to create a spatial movement, so I automated and boosted this mid mid-range frequencies, this around the 1k, 1 kilo. And together with the bass, with the air kick. And my percussion it sounds really really good. I love it. First hi-hats taken from the Zach Evans sample pack. Really, really good work. I like it. Okay, um, what else? We have these bass shots. Sounds like this. Together with this sample. And check this out, guys. This is the first one. And that's the second one. Both from Silent One. Of course, this presets all includes in the stems and presets. Link is in the description. And check out this bass. So this is how it sounds like with no distortions. It's really not the same. Okay, so Anima, basically always in Afterlife, I found that they use a lot, a lot of distortion, external distortions. So I can't send the sound without using an, any external distortion or saturation. So there is a really cool preset that I like from Five Filter Searching 2, is this one. And added another one, an OTT. Then clean up the slows, really unnecessary lows. I don't need the slow ends because I have my main bass. And on top of it, chorus, reverb, and delay. Here, nothing special here, so square, nothing on part B, distortion. And it's about the same in this end, different uh, wave tables. So this is another so, no detune, this is with is on. I'll be the same, distortions. External distortion is extremely important. Always make sure also to have low cuts. On top of it, some bass shots. Together. With the kick. Base shots also goes to a group. I add a few more uh, compressors, ZQs, sidechain in the group. And that's how Hanima basically did the, did the base. If you want to have these presets, also the stamps, all included in the link right here in the description, guys. And if you want to watch how I made this uh, lid, this melody, this solo lid, this main lid for the drop, also this uh, atmospheres and all the rest, go watch the next tutorial, guys. How to create leds like Anima. And yeah, that's it. If you like this video, guys, please subscribe to the channel. It's gonna help me a lot, guys. Subscribe to the channel, enable that bell notification. Put a like on this video guys, comment down below what you want to show me next and I'll make sure I do it. Peace, bye bye. And that's it for today guys, I hope you like this video guys. If you want to learn much more from me, let's have one on one session. Send me a message right here and we'll get on talk soon. Bye bye.